Hello and welcome everyone to the Almus YouTube channel. This is our Market Morning series, and I'm Swaraj, your host, filling in for Shikhar Garg. Uh, now there are some news in the overnight uh, markets, especially in the world of currencies. Euro USD opened higher, uh, backed by the fact that Macron is leading the French presidential elections. Uh, this week is also very crucial as we have the ECB rate decision on Thursday. Uh, on the domestic front, the RBI reserves fell by 11.17 billion dollars. Uh, morning, J.K. What developments have you observed in the markets? Hi, uh, good morning. So, I think uh, taking on from what happened on Friday, uh, global markets uh, did have uh, some steady session, but uh, there was no fresh factors to focus on. So, it was all uh, specific stock driven, and I think specific stock driven uh, market will continue in this and the next few weeks because. Uh, of uh, the corporate earning season that is starting now with uh, starting with uh, some uh, big uh, names uh, the same case is with uh, india as well uh, of course uh, dollar did have uh, uh, attack on 100 on uh, friday and now again we are trading above 100 on the dollar index so uh, there was some relief rally in the euro when uh, the news came of uh, French uh, exist uh, current uh, French President Macron leading uh, polls, but that has fizzled out uh, because uh, uh, US yields are uh, now trading at a uh, new cycle high, 10 year at uh, 2.75 and uh, two year was uh, 2.52. So that's the, not giving any sort of uh, relief uh, to the currencies. In fact, commodity space is also showing a decline, which is actually affecting the uh, currencies like uh, Aussie dollar, uh, oil has also come down, Brent is now at uh, $100. Uh, uh, dollars. So it's all uh, slowly getting affected uh, by the prospects of uh, higher and faster rate hikes in the US and uh, the dollar as well as commodities are taking a toll uh, on the, you know, on the same factors. Uh, we will have inflation numbers in uh, US uh, tomorrow. And once again, the numbers are expected at uh, you know uh, record highs. Like uh, year-on-year -year inflation is expected at 8.5 percent versus 7.9 percent last month, and month-on-month -month, uh, is expected at 1.2 percent versus uh, 0.8 percent last month. Similarly, core rate is also expected to be higher than uh, last month. So that's not uh, giving any sort of relief uh, to the uh, expectation of higher interest uh, rates. Uh, interestingly. In China, the yields have now quoted below that of US for the first time since 2010. So uh, I think Chinese yuan is also catching up on the dollar rally. Uh, we are seeing Chinese yuan overseas, uh, rather the offshore Chinese yuan trading above 6.38 uh, today morning. Asian currencies are also generally weak. So we are actually starting the week with the same trend uh, continuing and uh, there is no uh, actually a relief uh, for uh, you know the currencies uh, against the dollar. Uh, India, of course, we had the monetary policy uh, which uh, marked a shift in the policy, though not so explicitly stated, but definitely some of the pointers like uh, narrowing the corridor of uh, a laugh and then uh, uh, intention of gradual withdrawal of uh, liquidity indicating higher inflation uh, by over uh, 1.2 percent uh, for the coming financial year and lower growth all these are actually kind of uh, negative for the uh, domestic market uh, because uh, conditions are going to tighten here as well and uh, lower growth prospects will probably make uh, the uh, you know, a rupee less attractive for the foreign investors. It will be interesting to see whether the FIs uh, continue as the sellers uh, in the Indian market in the coming days uh, due to these uh, factors. So, uh, Indian interest rates are expected to uh, go higher gradually. Short term will definitely adjust uh, higher today. And uh, overall, the expectation is that our rates will go up uh, by about 1%. Uh, uh, maybe in the space of next uh, seven to eight months, uh, considering the inflation that is projected. Uh, on the rupee side, uh, initial reaction to the monetary policy where uh, people perceived that RB is finally coming back in terms with the market yields, but then uh, genuine demand from oil companies and other importers uh, has kept it uh, well bid, apart from the fact that dollar index itself has been trading uh, quite uh, strong. So today I expect uh, dollar rupee to be well supported at uh, 75.80 and there may be a, 
attack on the resistance at 7620 uh, considering the overall uh, uh, situation in the asian markets uh, that's it and we have a very busy schedule uh, this week uh, uh, ecb and then canada uh, policy meetings uh, but uh, uh, for the local market it's going to be a truncated week we have a holiday on thursday and friday so we effectively have only three working days so there may be the uh, shortened week will always see high volatility uh, and with so many factors around india inflation numbers are also expected tomorrow and cpa is expected to come once again at uh, six at uh, i know above six percent six point three five percent to be precise which is the third consecutive month of uh, uh, above uh, in, you know the band of inflation but uh, tolerated inflation uh, for the rbi so we so interesting times more volatility ahead for the week and have a good day all right thank you jk and as jk mentioned uh, he is expecting a uh, high volatility week this week uh, and we have got uh, the corporate earning season starting and as jk mentioned dollar index has continued to trade above 100 uh, we have got the us yields trading at a new cycle high uh, so guys, make sure to manage your risk. Uh, till then, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.